Hello, welcome to Electric Focus. And a real hot topic out there, certainly in the UK at the moment, is the difference between petrol pricing and electricity cost. Electricity costs we've seen go significantly higher over the last year or so in the UK. And petrol prices have been very high, but actually starting to decline now. So what does it look like when you compare electricity costs charging at home against petrol costs? Has it started to get to a point where it's very similar costs? Well, I'm going to have a look at my usage for last year to compare that and also look at what my future costs could be based on some of the electricity prices we're seeing. So let's get straight into the video. So in the last year in the UK, we saw fuel prices still pretty high out there, but also we saw electricity prices going up and the government had to bring in a cap of 34 pence per kilowatt hour to make it reasonable for people. Now, for me last year, I was mainly on a special EV tariff called Octopus Go. I started the year on an off-peak rate, so that's four hours between half 12 and half four of five pence, and then it changed in around June time to seven and a half pence. So still very, very cheap when you look at that compared to the price guarantee rate for if I'd had to charge on that for my electric car. So let's look, have a look at how much I spent last year then. And you can see the information on the screen now, which is from my home charger, the Omi charger. And that shows me how much I've spent for the day, month or year. And we're looking at the year at the moment. So I spent just under £205 last year on charging my car. And I do nearly all my charging at home, by the way. So that's on 2,904 kilowatt hours. And then that equates to an average cost per kilowatt hour of seven pence per kilowatt hour. So as you can see, very cheap. And that's because I had that mix of five pence and then seven and a half pence. And I do most of my charging on the off peak time. So what does that mean in terms of a pence per mile? Well, I'm going to just talk about here my car. Again, the Jaguar I-Pace, it's not the most efficient, I need to say first. And I work on a 2.7 miles per kilowatt hour, but there's much more efficient cars out there than that. So this is pretty much a sort of worst case scenario. And this, this is how much it costs me though. So if we take 2.7 miles per kilowatt hour, then that equates to 7,841 miles for last year. And then that gives us a figure of pence per mile figure of 2.61 pence per mile that cost me. So that's really, really cheap. I'm sure you can see that. And then if I was to look at what that would cost me on a tariff if I signed up today, so the same tariff, that I'm on at the moment, which does run out in July. That's why I'm comparing it now. So that tariff now for off peak is now 12 pence per kilowatt hour. So if I take that 12 pence, which is actually a 70% increase on where we are now, then that equates actually to 4.4 pence per mile. So still significantly cheaper than petrol or diesel out there. Even if you look at where the petrol prices have dropped to recently, so we're seeing a, a slight drop in prices across the UK. And I've taken the average cost based on some data from a really good website called New Automotive. And they're saying that the average cost for a petrol or diesel car is around 14 pence per mile. So as you can see, charging at home for me is still really, really cheap, even though my car's not particularly not efficient. And also uh, even on current rates for Octopus Go, which is the tariff I'm on at 12 pence, it's still only 4.4 pence I would be paying per mile. Now let's assume that I'm just on a standard tariff. So the government's cap average of 34 pence a kilowatt hour. How much then would it cost me per mile? Well. That equates to a cost just under a thousand pounds for the year at 34 pence on the same energy, 2,904 kilowatt hours would be 987 pounds 36. So if we then look at that in terms of the mileage again of 7841, that equates to 12.6 pence per mile. 
So still cheaper than petrol and diesel around 14 pence per mile if you take sort of a, the average as I said but it's certainly getting up very close to that now. So now let's look at the break even. To do that we take the mileage for the year and we times that by 14 pence to give us a figure of just over a thousand pounds, 1,097 pounds 74 pence and then we divide that by the kilowatt hours used, 2,904 and we get a figure of 37.8 pence per kilowatt hour. So that tells me how much I would have to be paying for my electricity for it to hit that 14 pence per mile in my car, which isn't the most efficient, but is a fantastic car that can do 0 to 60 in four and a half seconds. So we're not talking about a really, really efficient car here, but I'd still have to pay quite a lot for my electricity if I'm charging at home most of the time to kind of meet the levels you're still paying for petrol, even though prices have dropped. So I hope that was useful, looking at how much I spent last year on energy and how that converts into a pence per mile and how that compares to petrol and diesel again, even if price is coming down. And also that break even point. And bear in mind, this is on a pretty efficient car. We were looking at those figures there, 2.7 miles per kilowatt hour. If you're looking at even three miles per kilowatt hour, then you're looking at a 40 pence per kilowatt hour price of electricity to break even at that 14 pence per mile. So I hope that was useful. As always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll speak to you soon.